Hello everyone, this is Dr. Kaushik, Center Head of ACIC CBIT Research and Entrepreneurship Foundation. You all know that we are going to conduct Ideathon in the month of December on 6th and 7th, virtual as well as offline also. Now, how to prepare a presentation for your idea? Why? Well, because in Ideathon, you are going to present your idea. I'm going to give you a, a model which has six slides uh, it, it need not be you should follow that only you can follow your own style you can present in your own style but i am going to give you few pointers which if you follow then it will be very helpful for you to understand that and to present it in a, a proper way so this is this, these are the few points i always tell in the first slide okay you should talk about the problem which you have taken Let's suppose you are going to help former community in developing some app or in developing some IoT device or in developing some drone technology or artificial intelligence technology. In that, what you have to tell is what is the problem and how the technology which you are proposing or the app which you are designing or the chemical uh, formula which you are coming out to help the yield to get properly what you are trying to do it should be there in the first first slide the problem uh, which the end customer is facing the pain point we call it pain point so you need to mention that pain point and if you back it with some uh, statistics then it will be great let's suppose uh, uh, majority of farmers let 58 percent or 60 percent of farmers are suffering from this if you are working in some healthcare, uh, some uh, 70 percent patients are suffering to this if we can bring uh, some technology then it will be helpful i hope you understood the first slide always should talk about your pain point majority of the people are suffering that so that is why you want to solve that that is your first slide coming to your second slide what are the existing methods which are already there in the market see it's not that we are we are coming out some something which is not uh, which is not there already there might be some products which is addressing those pain points nothing wrong in coming out with your own product also with your own idea also only thing is you need to know what are those existing prototypes products or softwares or methods that you need to mention why why because if you know who is your competitor and what he is doing you can always understand what is not there in that and you can propose that that gives you the clarity so that is your sec second slide which talks about existing methods existing prototypes existing companies who are working in this direction and the disadvantages are few few uh, objectives are missing in that you are going to provide those objectives with your product second slide should be that coming to the third slide your proposal what you are going to propose to solve that particular pain point or that problem statement which helps the society or the community or anything with your product that proposal with objectives let's suppose your proposal has three objectives those three objectives should be clearly mentioned i am going to do this i am going to do this and this will help in certain way to the uh, end customer who is suffering through this uh, problem that should be spelled out well in your third slide coming to your fourth slide now you have proposed you know what are the existing methodologies you know the pain points okay and you know how you are proposing something how to solve then why don't you come out with some block diagram if it is uh, iot or any hardware related mechanical civil or anything why don't you come out with some block diagram if it is software why don't you come out with some uml diagrams people who don't know uml diagrams you can go on google and you can search which will tell the which will give you the clarity how you are going to solve your problem what are the blocks which are there in uh, 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 in solving that problem what is the output from each and every block if you understand that then you have a great clarity on the problem which you are solving so your fourth slide should be a block diagram uml diagram or any flow diagram which explains uh, about your proposed idea and then 
the next slide is target customers who are our target customers let's suppose you are building a drone this drone can be used in agriculture these drones can be used in medicine uh, in delivering uh, the medicine which means health sector this drone can be used for uh, construction companies these drones can be used in uh, if some something happens let's suppose earthquake comes to identify few things drones are used likewise who are your target customers if you identify that then uh, a purpose for proposing your idea will be uh, spelled out very good uh, so you tell us who are your target customers in the fifth slide and at the same time what technologies are you are using let's suppose if you are developing a mobile app android application you are using or flutter you are using let's suppose you are using uh, you are developing a website uh, for any edutech then in that what technologies you are using okay angular you are using or any any other things uh, you are using that you need to mention if you are using if you are if your work is into iot so what kind of tools you are using so technologies what you are using if you mention then it's a great thing and then sixth slide is conclusion how you are going to serve the community how you are going to uh, enhance the livelihood of a particular person who is suffering with your problem statement and also in the conclusion you mention it comes in which sdg it, uh, it falls into sustainable development goals there are 17 sustainable development goals whatever proposal you are doing you link it to one sdg people who don't know sdg you can always refer in internet and try to map that sdg why because as a uh, as a country india we want to solve this uh, sustainable development goals so that is what you should mention in your conclusion i'll recap once the first slide should consist of the problem the pain point and if you back it up with some uh, uh, some uh, survey then it is great second slide should have existing methods technologies and companies who are working third slide should be your proposed uh, model how you are proposing with clear objectives okay and fourth slide should be your block diagram or uml diagram or flow diagram and fifth slide should be your target customers who will be using your product and the technologies you are using and fifth uh, sixth slide is conclusion you conclude your idea or your proposed model by linking it with some sustainable development goals okay and while preparing this presentation if you have any doubt you can always approach me online or offline okay if you want me uh, to come online and do some sessions i am ready to do why because only few days are left any kind of help you can always approach our acic cbit foundation through online or offline we are going to help you in uh, in shaping your uh, idea into a good, into a good level okay as i already mentioned this is a three phase competition out of good see if you if you present well you think you are there in the second round once you enter into second rounds and third rounds obviously support will be there from acic cbit Our only intention of this is to develop a good product which helps the society which helps the communities particularly rural communities and if the product is built for women empowerment then we are going to encourage you people in all uh, in all sectors so thank you guys any doubts you can uh, message uh, in the youtube comments or you can message in the whatsapp group which you are there try to uh, follow these steps and if you want to uh, prepare your presentation it's your wish you can prepare any way but these things you keep in mind and present so that you are there in the next stage we want you to develop a good product thank you very much and uh, all these steps i'll be putting it in the description of youtube video you can uh, get from there also thank you very much